Hey YouTube, recently I joined the men's shed to give me access to a lathe so I don't have to bug Craig so much and it gives me some experience back on the lathe again after a very long time before I buy one. What I had to do was make up some new spaces here to go on the axles to complete the rear wheel assembly. Now that that's completed um, it's time to move on to building the main frame itself and for the longest time I've been trying to work out whether I should put the big wheels at the back or put the small wheels at the back. And what I've decided after probably hundreds of different designs and spent probably thousands of hours in design work is I'm going to throw it all in the bin and basically just wing it. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because one of the lessons I learnt while doing these axle spaces is that while it's great to have a whole lot of little precise measurements that are dependent on one another, if you get one of those measurements out it can basically throw everything out. So that's why I'm going to, to a large degree just basically wing this frame and build it as I go. I have a rough plan, but I'm going to be pretty much winging it. So let's get into it. Numerous factors need to be considered, the first of which is the chain to tyre and chain to frame clearance. I could improve the outside clearance by putting the chain and sprocket on the outside, but I'm still deciding if that's the direction I want to go. The battery space looks to be okay. The front wheels seem to clear just fine but I could always radius the brackets with a grinder if a tighter fit is needed. The sloping frame doesn't seem as viable an option as I'd first hoped, as I seem to need the back lifted up to remove the oil filter, just like this, and I may need to remake the exhaust pipe leading into the muffler using a 90 degree bend to avoid the outlet running into the frame. Laying in bed last night, I was trying to work out how I'm going to address this issue of trying to get the frame up and the wheel down. Now I've got a couple of different ideas of what I might do so it's probably easiest if I just show you. A little bit of imagination is required but if you can imagine that this is chopped through here so you've got two short pieces and you've got another piece here that's basically the outside wheel frame. Now it's going to be joined from side to side at the top here like this and this 65mm piece here is to basically lift the frame up. So that's one option. The other option is to do away with this top bar completely and just have this support bar 65mm lower and where it goes to the frame will be basically sitting 65mm lower. So that's probably the option which I'll be taking. Okay, this inside rail is now going to become an outside rail and the reason for that is because I've got the nuts already welded on and the bolts that I've got to go in here are just big enough to go through 65mm and no more. Mm -hmm. 